All right, so we've been asked by a few people to do a walk around of our camper that we built like this last winter. Uh, so we're gonna show you what we all did. Uh, if you haven't watched our, we, we didn't really do a video because we didn't start our YouTube channel um, until just a few months ago, but we did, uh, we did a slideshow of the build on this. Uh, it doesn't really go into detail about how it was built. So we'll, I'll talk about that a little bit and then Chelsea will go walk you guys through the, the interior and stuff. Uh, the frame is two inch and one inch square tubing, all eighth inch wall. Um, everything's welded together. Then we did uh, one inch poly, polystyrene uh, insulation. Um, and then the uh, 32 thousandths thick aluminum siding. This is just like for an enclosed trailer. And everything's just riveted on. Um, walk around this way so on the outside here we have our diesel tank we did a diesel heater in this uh, it's a max speeding rods 5,000 it's either 5,000 or 8,000 kilowatt um, can't remember but it's more than enough for this little camper and very fuel efficient we're very happy with it I don't like the fuel pump though the fuel pumps very noisy we're gonna, I guess they make, uh, Amazon sells a aftermarket fuel pump for these diesel heaters. It's like 30 bucks and they're supposed to be almost silent. So we are gonna replace that. <clears throat> the exhaust for the diesel heater comes down through the floor right here. Uh, it's this one. And just ran a pipe down the trailer and all the way towards uh, that right front wheel. And the exhaust goes out the side. That way we don't have to worry about fumes. We've got our fresh water fill right here. Uh, water water tank fresh water tank drain right here hot water heater this is a on-demand hot water heater what brand did we use Fugatti haven't actually used this yet um, it's May right now and we're our first real trip with this thing where we're actually gonna use the plumbing and everything is just coming up here in a couple weeks we've got uh, we went with an EcoFlow for our power system. It's a Delta II, and this is the uh, for a shore power hookup for it. It's just 110, regular extension core to work with this. And then we have solar panel, and this I haven't wired in yet, but this will eventually go to the pickup. That way, every time the pickups run, or anytime the pickups running, it will charge the EcoFlow as well. All right, we'll go around to this side. We didn't do a gray tank. Our gray, everything gray water just drains out right here. Um, we typically dry camp in the mountains or at the lake, not at a campsite. So we just let our gray water drain on the ground, which is fairly clean anyways. But uh, we went with a uh, uh, Thetford cassette toilet. is right here we have used this already and dumped it a couple times it's very simple to use when it gets full we have an indicator inside on the toilet uh, just take it over to a vaulted toilet or we have a septic tank here on our property so take it over spin that out tip it up push the button rinse it out with the garden hose or put some water in there rinse it out it's pretty easy to take care of uh, for tying the can or anchoring the camper to the trailer uh, like I said before we use two inch square tubing for our framing so this is a this is a horizontal piece of square two inch square tubing running across the bottom here and again at the front and I left the corners open, but we actually cut cut the corners open. And then this is just inch and a half square tubing slid inside of there, about a foot and a half. Uh, welded some brackets to the trailer and then just bolted it down with five eighths, grade eight bolts. We built our own stairs. Uh, that's another video. We did post that here a couple months ago. 
You can go back and check that out if you're interested in how to build these. They fold up. You can just made some bolts for them. That way we can travel down the road and tighten that up, but fairly simple. So prior to this we had a 95, 92. It was a 92 Terry fifth wheel. Um, we used to pull doubles, that way we could haul side by side and the four wheelers and stuff. Got tired of doing that, so that's what, kind of why we decided to do this. Uh, we can actually fit the side by side and two of our four wheeler, the kids' four wheelers, all on the trailer at the same time, so no more pulling doubles. Um, we're not done out here yet. We are going to build a permanent awning that'll come out the same height as the camper back here probably 12 feet or so that way we have all this as a shaded deck area elevated deck we went with a i don't know if you can see it let me see the camera we did a rubber roof like crawl up here so we did two roof vents up there and that's just it's just a flat roof uh it's a commercial grade rubberized roof for like uh just to just like for a building um that was kind of by accident I actually bought the wrong stuff but we went ahead and used it anyways we've had this up to 80 miles an hour and it hasn't blown off yet so i think we're okay no leaks um it's holding up good so far but that's about it out here i think i'm gonna turn you around and let chels talk about the inside all right so coming in here we have the bathroom over here um this is our cassette toilet from the inside we had to put a shower grate in the pan um to lift the toilet up so that it would be level with the top of the shower pan um we just put little black baskets everywhere for storage um we have a fan um vent there above the shower and a light so okay so our whole camper is powered by the ecoflow like tyler was telling you guys earlier so all you have to do is push this button here it powers it on and then you can actually control it by using this app the ecoflow app and um, it tells you output and input and um, available time you have. Um, so to turn on our lights, all we have to do is go into output and turn on turn on the 12 volt because that's what we have it plugged into. And then what? Turn the other one on too. Turn okay. the turn the AC on too. Okay. Um. So like above the bathroom here we have the fan and the bright LED lights plugged into the switch here on the wall. We also have one here, sorry, we also have one here above the sink and one on the ceiling. We just did a simple wood countertop. Um, and the sink that has a faucet already installed in it. Pretty simple. Tyler built this awesome uh, tray for our fridge to go in and it locks into place and then um, it's just a little chest fridge doesn't have a freezer, but we don't really need a freezer. And then it tucks away nicely. Unlock it. Tucks away nicely into the cabinet here. Um, also for me, because I'm only five foot tall on the kids, we're short. We have these little steps that allow us to get into the cabinets up, up above. So just makes it a lot easier for me to be able to get things out. And these are all soft close cabinets. We'll see if they stay closed or not when we're going down a bumpy mountain road, but we'll see what happens. Um, 
towards the back we have more cabinet space that just doesn't have doors on it and up here I'm probably just gonna put stuff we don't get to very often and then we're gonna probably put some hooks in this second one here so we can hang coats and stuff and then in the bottom one I think this is where our trash is gonna be and then a hamper for dirty clothes um, we also have these drawers down here that are actually deceivingly big and they come out really far um, and then for a stove this is our little single burner uh, butane stove and we haven't used it yet so I have no idea how how it's gonna work but for the most part we cook outside anyway so we didn't need anything more than this this is really just so that we can have coffee in the morning and not have to be outside when it's cold out so and the same on this side I just have toilet paper in there right now um, the benches all have uh, storage underneath but pretty much just this one is open totally for storage and then there in the corner over there there's a little bit of storage left otherwise we have our water tank under there and the water heater so uh, there's a couple of vents down here towards the floor where the hot air comes through from the diesel heater diesel heaters under there too we can actually open that up and we'll show them everything in there and I sewed together these cushion covers I'm not a seamstress but I think they turned out pretty nice all right, so under these two benches, we've got the on-demand hot water heater. Here's our max speeding rods diesel heater. Just got the ductwork coming straight forward out to each vent right here on this side of the wall. Water pump, all of our plumbing is hidden in, in here under the benches and everything. Uh, what else? Oh, we also have this... Uh, had to go with this converter this is a 12 volt or excuse me a 110 to 12 volt converter um, on this uh, that's one thing I didn't like about the Delta 2 EcoFlow uh, the 12 volt side of it is kind of weak but the it's got six outlets on it uh, that are 110 that have plenty of output but it wasn't it wasn't it didn't have enough on the 12 volt side to power the diesel heater so there's a glow plug in there to ignite the diesel heater and anytime that glow plug would kick on it would trip the ecoflow so instead i uh, bought a converter and ran all of our 12 volt off of that converter instead of going from the ecoflow directly all of our controls are right here for the diesel heater water heater, water pump, water heater. So this display comes on for the water heater after you turn the switch on. Right now we're still winterized. I've got a, we're actually gonna finish that up today. Uh, just gotta hook up the uh, line back to our pump. There's the antifreeze and everything right now. But uh, we'll get that, we'll get it unwinterized later today. For the interior walls, we used a blue beetle kill pine and then I just finished it by putting some wax on them. It's not polyurethane or anything like that. It's just a wax to keep it so that we can wipe it off if they get dirty. Um, we have four windows, those two up there, are emergency exit windows, and then we have another vent above the bed. This is a king size bed. That was one of the things we really wanted because, you know, once you've been in a king size bed it's really hard to downgrade and it's just super comfortable um, we also kept the two inch uh, pipe square tubing I can't talk <laughs> two inch square tubing exposed just for design just to make it kind of break up the wood a little bit and add that little detail um, there's some more there's some more storage baskets above the bed and then 
wood panels for the ceiling. It's just quarter inch plywood. And then just some trim pieces to cover up the seams. And everything's riveted. And riveted up there. Um, painted it white. And then that was pretty much it. That's the easiest way to do a ceiling. So much better than drywall. And then to show you the next little detail, I have to close the door here. So give me a second. And then I'll turn off these lights so you can see this a little better. Um, just add a little extra flare. We have LED lights uh, basically all along the edge of the ceiling and you can turn it to whatever color you like so I really like it it's kind of nice when when you're in here at night and you just have that little bit of a glow along the side along the top of the ceiling there so uh, we also have a little bit, a little TV so we can kick back and watch TV and a couple little decorative signs in here that our, my cousin gave us for Christmas. So otherwise that's about it for this video I think. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, check out our other camper videos because everybody was really curious how we were going to get it out of the shop when we built it and so we made a video of that and I wish we had videoed the whole build because that would have been a really good one but we just weren't doing YouTube yet so stay tuned and we'll have more to come.